हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर निधि शुभानंद एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द प्लांट बॉडी ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स एंड टेरिडोफाइट्स इन ब्रायोफाइट्स द मेन प्लांट बॉडी इज गैमिटोफिटिक दैट इज हैप्लॉइड अ गैमिटोफिटिक प्लांट बॉडी समटाइम्स इट इज ऑफ थैलोस टाइप एंड समाइम इट इज फोलियोज इफ इट इज थैलोस like in rickshia markensia and anthocerous it is not differentiated into root stem and leaves but if the plant body is of folios type then it has a leafy axis where not the true leaf but some leaf like structures are present on the axis of the plant for example funaria and sphagnum sporophyte that is Deploy, deployed plant body is sometime partially like in funaria and sometime completely like in rickshia dependent upon the gametophytic generation in bryophyte the sporophytic plant that means the deployed plant is differentiated into foot seta and capsule the spores are produced inside the capsule Bryophytes are homosporous in nature that is all the spores produced by the plant are similar in structure there is an alternation of generation between gametophytic that is haploid plant and sporophytic that is diploid plant the first cell of sporophytic generation is zygote and the first cell of gametophytic generation is spore if we uh, understand if we try to understand with this graphical representation then here we can see the haploid gametophyte generation this is shown with light green color this phase is haploid phase and the area which is pink in color is diploid it showing diploid generation which is sporophyte haploid generation is represented by gametophyte and diploid generation is represented by sporophyte now here is a gametophytic plant and this is sporophyte this is capsule attached with the help of seta to the gametophyte now here we can see that sporophyte is dependent upon the gametophyte sporophyte is attached is still attached to the gametophyte now after meiosis in sporophyte the spores are produced these green color ball like structure these are spores and then these spore germinate spore is haploid and when it germinate it form haploid gametophytic plant and on haploid gametophytic plant anthridium and archegonium are produced anthridium give rise to sperm and archegonium produces egg sperm with the help of water travels to the archegonium and fertilized with the egg here we can see sperm coming to the zyg egg and after fertilization it will convert into zygote and then embryo which is diploid the sperm is haploid the egg is haploid and when uh, both of these fertilize they form a diploid zygote which eventually give rise to the embryo and with from embryo sporophyte develops but sporophyte is dependent upon gametophyte partially or fully so this is the salient feature of alternation of generation in bryophytes now we come to the pteridophyte okay so in pteridophyte the main plant body is sporophytic 
here in bryophyte the major portion of the life cycle was haploid and haploid plant is gametophyte but in case of pteridophyte the major portion of life cycle is sporophytic that is diploid and a sporophytic plant is differentiated into root stem and leaves a sporophyte produces spores inside sporangia sporangia are produced on leaf like structure which are known as sporophylls and sometimes sporophyll form a cone or a strobilus spores may be of same type that is homosporous for example lycopodium and raptaris and spores may be of two types that is heterosporous this heterospory leads to the formation of seed habit seeds are not found in bryophytes or in pteridophytes but presence of two types of spores one male and one female will eventually give rise to the seed habit and in gymnosperm they will going to produce seeds the development of sporangium may be eusporangiate if developed from a group of cell if sporangia develop from a group of cell then it this type of development is known as eusporangiate for example in selaginella but if the sporangia develops from a single cell then it is known as leptosporangiate for example in marsilia and azolla now this is the life cycle pictorial uh, view of the life cycle of pteridophyte here this is a sporophytic plant and on leaves you can see these spots these spots are sporangium and it will produce spores spores are produced through meiosis so the spores are haploid in nature and it will germinate to form a haploid gametophytic plant which is known as prothallus in case of pteridophyte this phase is short lived in pteridophyte so their major main plant body is sporophyte and a small portion of life cycle is represented by haploid plant known as gametophyte on germination the spores produce prothallus or gametophyte gametophyte has photosynthetic tissues in it and it can produce its own food gametophyte may be monoecious in case of homosporous forms or dioecious in case of heterosporous forms the gametophyte development may be exosporic if it occurs outside of the spores or it may be endosporic if it takes place inside the spores the gametophyte produce anthridium and archegonia the gametophytic phase is short lived reduced and dependent upon sporophyte in initial stages so in this video we have talked about plant body of sporoph of bryophytes and pteridophytes hope you all will like this video thank you so much for watching